Hello everyone and welcome back to, or welcome to, DQ Reads. So this is something that I think might be unique to me. If it's not, I would love to hear what the books you read almost every year are and even why you read them almost every year. If you can't think of a why you read this, these books or this book every year or this series, not a big deal, but I would really love to hear other books that other people read a lot. So I'm going to start with pretty much just the one that's on the top of the pile because it's on the top of the pile and I don't really have a rhyme or reason to which one I would put first or second. The first book I'm gonna talk about is 13th Child by Carlene Bradford. I really hope I didn't just butcher this woman's name. This book is, it's not even like a new book. It's actually really old. I'm going to say really old and then it's going to be published in like 2000. I'm going to age everyone. It's actually published in 1994. Not as old as I was thinking, but definitely not new. So instead of having the book I'm currently reading up here, since I'm talking about two amazing books, I thought I'd put the books I'm talking about here. So starting with 13th Child, I don't know what it is about this book. It's just such an intriguing story to me. So basically Kate working at her family's gas station runs into a kind of seemingly sketchy dude. And um, she already struggles with her family life and this guy coming into the picture of her life and all these personal things happening and then something happens that shakes up the entire town all kind of comes together and you see just a mess of the main character Kate's life. So it's a really great book. It's so short that I feel like if I say more than like a few sentences about it, it'll ruin it. It's I think like 130 something pages. It's super short, an amazing book. I read it all the time, pretty much every year. The reason I read it every year is I read a lot of like bigger books and I love reading just like short, thin, small novels that are just like so really good and gripping. So that's this is my go-to for that because it's an amazing read. I love Kate. I love, there's just like, I always feel such a interesting connection to her even though we don't really have anything in common. I love reading her life, her crazy life story and realizing that my life story is not that weird and not that crazy, thank God. Really fun, quick read. No matter how many times I'm re I read it, I'm always like, whoa, because the twists and turns are just amazing. You probably won't expect the ending. Honestly, if you've never read this book, I really recommend it. Let me know what you think of it. If you have read it and you thought it was like garbage, I'm that this is awkward. So this is 13th Child, super good. I love it. I enjoy reading it every single time. It's a quick, fun read with just, you don't expect the ending. It was an ending I never expected. That's my favorite part about it. I honestly, as weird as that sounds like, I just love that it's so quick and short. It gives me a break from just long books and it just makes me, it just gives me, there's so many parts of this book that just give me, it gives you so many different emotions. You feel good at some points and bad at some points and concerned and happy and just, I love that. I love about that about this book. I love the feeling that you're left with at the end. Great book, love it, totally recommend it. The next book I read pretty much every year is I Heart You, You Haunt Me by Lisa Schroeder. Sorry, Lisa, if I totally messed up your last name, I apologize. This book is great. I'm not sure if this is gonna be easily seen because it's a very light cover with the very bright light, harsh light on it. It is also a very quick, short read. It's a very cute book. Very briefly, I only like giving a few sentences because I don't I don't like the idea of accidentally giving something big away. But basically, the main character, Ava, her boyfriend passes away and then later on she feels as though he's still there, haunting her. It's a really great fast read. It's cute. It makes you feel things. I like feeling things sometimes. It's also written, I don't know what style it's called. I'm sure there's a name for it, but it's written like poetry. Basically how Ellen Hopkins writes her books. I don't know if all her books or most of her books, but it's that same style. So it's super quick read. It's like 200 pages or something, but you'll probably finish it way quicker than you realize because of 
how easy it is to read, how cute and fun it is, and just it's just a good story, a good love story. Also, I feel like a good, in a way, like coming of age story because she's younger and she, like she's 16 or so and she, through this experience, I feel like really grows as a person and I guess a character. So those are my two books that I read pretty much every year. They're great go-to quick reads, not gonna lie. I do use them to help round out my Goodreads yearly challenge on the days or the years that I need that because I'm sure we've all experienced that where we read a couple books that are way too big and now we're totally behind in our goal and holy crap it's almost the end of the year. Personally that's not me this year and I'm kind of proud about that but I also read a lot of really small books this year rereading my favorite series which will be on another video. Thank you so much for watching. I totally recommend either of these books. If you have any books that you read all the time or pretty much every year or every year, please let me know what they are down below. I would love to hear what they are and check them out for myself. Thank you so much for watching. I totally almost did the intro before actually turning on the camera to record, which is really embarrassing.